Here is a step by step tutorial on how I change this dark melanin skin tone instead of capture one. And to follow along, I believe the link where you can get this well file in the description below. I have also made this color good as a preset and I'm giving that for free. So to download this full preset, check the link in the description below of this video as well. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can download this preset and install it into capture one and start using it. Let's jump straight into the video. So I'm just going to reset everything I've done for this image. So I'm going to click on reset right here. So right now you can see the image is looking too warm. So I'm going to cool it down by moving the white balance. So I'm going to come to the white balance and just click on the curve right here. Just take the curve down a little bit like this until I feel it's okay. So like this works for me for the white balance. So let's look at the before and after. So see the before and the after just by moving the white balance. So next I'm going to do after fixing the white balance, I'm just going to change the accessory profile of this image. I actually learned this one of those in tonight's video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come from my color right here. And under this base characteristics, I'm going to see ICC profile. So right now you can see it's on night color right here. So I'm going to click on the ICC profile and just change it to this Leica M monochrome neutral right here, just like this. And if you can't find it, just click on more on your own. I agree to see more. So this Leica M monochrome right here neutral works for me. So what this does is just going to desaturate the whole image. All right, now after changing the SCC profile, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the subject separately. So to do that, I'll come back to my adjust right here. And under the layer and mask, you're going to see subject right here. So I'm going to click on subject. A capture one will automatically make the selection of our subjects for us. And you can also do this selection manually. Now it has finished making the subject selection for us. So if I just press M on my keyboard, you are going to see the selection. It's pretty accurate. So I'm going to hide it back. All right. Now for me, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll all the way down to my levels and just add contrast to my subject layer. So I'm going to move the highlights part inside a little bit and also move the shadow part inside a little bit like this, just to add contrast to my subject layer. Now for me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my color tab again and just come to color editor. So under color editor, you're going to see basic, advanced and skin tone. Now what to work on the skin tone. Now with the skin tone selected, with this picker tool right here, I'm just going to select this picker tool and just select any part of the skin for now. So I'm going to select this part right here. Once I select that part, I'm just going to come to the saturation and just take that desaturation of the skin tone a little bit like this. So let's say minus 12, minus 12 works for me. And also I'm going to take down the lightness a little bit just like this. All right, so that this works for me. So that's for the skin tone. So let me just show you the before and after of what we've done for the subject layer so far, so you can see. So I'm going to come to my layer right here. Once I turn off this subject layer, I'm going to see, see the before and the after. The before and the after, just for my subject layer. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the background. So I'm going to come to the layer and mask again, and I'm going to click on background right here. A capture one will automatically select our background for us. And you can also do this manually if you want. Now our background is being selected right now. So I'm going to press M on my keyboard. As you can see, the background is selected. Now there are some parts that are not selected like under the hand right here. This part right here are not selected. You can also add that part more if you want. So I'm going to pick my brush to right here. I'm just going to add this part to the selection. Also add this part to the selection for the background right now. Now the background is selected. I'm going to press M again to hide my mask. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to my color right here. Now, instead of using skin tone, I'm going to click on advanced right here. Click this picker tool and just select any color from the background and just increase the range. And from here, I'm just going to bring the saturation down a little bit for the background. And also, I can choose to play with the lightness and see. So I'm going to take the lightness down just a little bit and also play with the hue and see which one works. So I think I'm going to leave the hue at um, the default and just take down the saturation a little bit. So that's for the background. So let me show you the before and after for the background. So this is the before and this is the after for the background. The before and the after for the background. So let's see our before and after before I continue. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. And don't forget to follow along. Check the link in the description below to download this real file. So moving on, the next thing I'm going to do I want to create a new field adjustment layer and this time I want to work on the overall image. So I'll come to my layer and mask again. Under this layer right here, click on this drop that icon in front of the plus. I'm going to click on this angle right here in front of the plus and just click on new field layer. 
and you can choose to rename the layers i'm going to rename this one image which is the whole image and just come to color and this time come to advance and just select the color from the skin tone so i'm going to come to the saturation and just take down the saturation a little bit all right also take down the lightness a little bit just like this okay so see the before and the after the before and the after and finally i'm going to create another subject layer again so i'll come back to my adjust under the layer mask i'm going to click on subject i'm just going to select the subject for us so if i press m my keyboard you can see right now the subject is being selected now what i'm going to do i just want to even out the skin tone of the subject all right so with my subject layer selected i'm going to click on color right here click on skin tone with the picker tool selected i'm going to click on any part i want the rest of the skin tone to look like so i want the rest of the skin tone to look like this part right here so i want to sample this part and i'm just going to come down to the uniformity now under the uniformity i'm going to move the hue up like this and also move the saturation up like so once i do that it's just going to even out the rest of the skin and make it look like that particular place which i sample from all right now next i'm going to do i can choose to also bring down the saturation a little bit and also bring down the lightness just a tiny bit like so all right so this is the before and the after the before and the after now i'm going to stop here and you can choose to take it even more further if you want and i've already created a color preset like i said earlier and if i just want to apply to similar images all i can do maybe i want to apply to this image right here i'm not going to click on this arrow right here click on style and click on custom preset right here so this is the thinness below link which i'm giving out for free so check the link in the shop below of this video to download this capture one style or preset so once i click on it it's just going to load and apply that preset to this image right here and you can do it for different image just make sure the image you want to retouch is actually similar or it's a dark skin image you can use this preset for a light skin image it's not going to work so make sure you are using it for a dark skin model so as you can see right now it has applied so this is the before and this is the after and the good thing about this process is that you can actually go inside and make adjustments if you want all right so let's say i want to adjust the background i don't want the effect on the background what i can do i can just come to my adjustment layer and just come to the background layer right here once i come to the background layer i can just click on color and just play with the hue and saturation of the advanced right here and just going to affect the background as you can see so just play with the colors right now you can see this part are not selected if i just press m on my keyboard this part of the background are not selected so you can add this part to the background manually by just coming to the layer and mask again click on the brush tool and just add this part to the selection if you want i'm just going to add this part to the selection similarly if you want to remove your mask from the selection just pick on the eraser tool and just erase it for where you don't actually want it i'm just going to erase like that now let me show you how you can actually import this preset into capture one and start using it all right so after you finish downloading this preset just click on this three angle right here click on style once you click on style on that style and preset just click on it then click on import style and preset brushes right here so once you click on it just locate where the style you downloaded is on your laptop so mine is on my download so this is the style right here thinness style right here so just click on it and click on open and it will automatically import into capture one so you can see we have two right here this is the original one and this is the one we just imported right now all right now to apply it let me apply it to this image so you can see i'm just going to click on it and just going to apply that process to this image as you can see so see the before and this is the after and you have manual adjustment over the preset if you find this video helpful then you need to check out this tutorial right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative